Hello and welcome back to Ayastek. In today's tutorial, we will be exploring how to set background image in Next.js 14. This is common task in web development that can greatly enhance the visual appeal of your website. We will cover both global and component specific background images and discuss the best practices for optimizing performance. So let's dive in. I'm assuming that you already have created your Next.js project and it is opened in your favorite editor. I'm using the VS code and this is the basic code that I have just the hello world message. Now I'm going to start this project by running the command npm run dev. Okay, let's open it in the browser. The project has been started in our browser. Now let's move on to setting background images. Let's start by setting up a background image for the entire application. First, place your background image in the public folder of your Next.js project. So let me quickly find a suitable image for that. Okay, let's use this one. Okay, now I'm going to save this picture in the public folder of my Next.js project. Go to the images folder and hit the save button. Let me rename the image. Now inside the images folder, we have the image. Let me rename its extension to JPEG. Now let's open the globals.css file that is available in your app directory. And now we have to add some styles. So I'm going to remove all of these lines of code and let's add the background image. Okay, so here I will specify the path. You don't have to specify the public folder here. Just type the path inside your public folder. That is images slash image dot JPEG save it okay with that the image is now displaying here let's add few more styles here background size cover and background position would be the center background repeat would be no repeat and background attachment would be the fixed okay all right so let's break down this css here we are setting the image url this path is relative to the public folder and then here we are ensuring the image covers the entire background and here background position center centers the image and this line prevents the image from repeating and then finally we have background attachment fixed that keeps the background fixed while scrolling this method sets the background for all pages in your next js application so now let's proceed to the next method now let's look at how to set background image for a specific component or page so for that i'm going to create a new component or page so here in the app directory let's create a new folder actually a new file inside the folder background dash image slash page dot tsx the folder has been created and the page dot tsx is also created within that folder now we need to export our component page and within this i will just add the heading welcome to my page with a background image now i need to create a css module in this folder with the name background image dot module dot css now in here i'm going to create a selector container with the position relative and then width should be under vw that is view width and the height would be under view under vh that would be 100 percent of the view height and now i will use a selector container before and within that the content would be would be empty string and then position should be absolute top should be zero left should be zero width should be 100 percent height should be 100 percent background image should be here we have to specify the path of the image that we want to specify i want to use the same path that we specified earlier let me remove these styles from the globals.css because now we want to test a different method now after adding the image path we will add the background size that would be cover and then background position would be center and the opacity would be 0.5 and z index would be 
minus one. Okay. So this CSS creates a full viewport container and uses a pseudo element to set the background image. The opacity property allows you to control the image's transparency. Now it's time to test it. So here we need to add class name attribute and here use the JavaScript syntax styles. We need to import the styles from our module import styles from here specify the path of your file and styles dot container okay so make sure this is exactly same whatever you have specified in here so this class name would become the property of the object in the styles variable now let's go to that path the path is background dash image press enter all right you you can see the background image is added on this specific component or page. You can now play around with these values. Maybe you want to increase the opacity to one or whatever you prefer. The purpose of setting Z index minus one is that we don't want to bring the image section on the top of our text or anything. It should be behind everything. That's why we added mi minus one. Now let's move on to the next method for better performance especially with the large background images we can use next.js built-in image component so let's modify our background image component our page and here i will pass the image tag make sure to import the image component from next slash image and now we need to pass it some important attributes source would be the path of the image in our case the path of the image is same that we added here so you can just copy paste it all right next we need to specify the alt attribute that would be anything you can specify here and then we need to add layout fill then we need to add object fit cover then we need to add the quality you can change this value if you want to and finally we need to add class name that would be styles dot background image okay now we need to add this exactly same pro uh, selector in our module file module css file so let's do that and we now don't need this section just remove that and this would stay same for the background image we will simply add z index would be minus one and opacity would be 0 0.5 you can change these values depending on your requirements all right you can see it is still working but now it is better this approach leverages next.js image optimization features including lazy loading and automatic responsive sizing all right in this tutorial we have covered three methods to set the background image in next.js 14 first one was the global background images using css in globals.css Second method was component specific background images using CSS modules. Third method was optimized background images using Next.js image component. Each method has its use cases. Global backgrounds are great for consistent theme across your site, while component specific backgrounds offer more flexibility. The image component method provides the best performance for large or numerous images. Remember to always optimize your images and consider mobile responsiveness when implementing background images. Experiment with these techniques to find what works best for your next year's projects. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, then please like and subscribe for more web development content. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos. Also, if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions, then please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I would be happy to reply them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.